Bindi Joho's infamous last recorded words continue to haunt Canada today. You guys to know you got another thing coming, bitch. I'm still around. How did this young local immigrant gangster become the cultural infatuation he is today, nearly two decades after his violent demise? Bindi came to Canada at the age of four, but his start in organized crime began in high school. Becoming the face of Canadian gang violence, selling drugs, seducing women, and blowing money. In 1995, he was acquitted of being involved in the murders of rival gangsters, the Dos Sanj brothers, in what was a highly publicized media trial. Whether he was sending a minion to seduce his jurors into a not guilty verdict or just shooting his gun off into the ceiling for public intimidation. Bindi became a celebrity with his reckless yet confident crime streak. But eventually those crimes caught up to him and he was shot to death in a Vancouver nightclub at the age of 27. Just two decades after his Punjabi parents had immigrated to the country with high hopes for a better future. Today, British Columbia's South Asian organized crime scene is still prevalent. 